to me, being a Christian in culture is when a believer is able to adapt to their audience and communicate God's love to them, but at the same time holding on to the principles that the Bible teaches and not conforming to, you know, to the customs or the traditions of our cultures. Uh, the beauty of Christianity is that it can be adapted by anyone. And it can, you know, any, any believer from any part of the world can hear the message of the gospel and can hear the message of God's love and receive that and that can make an impact in them where it transforms them. But not just, you know, where God calls them out and now they can't be a part of their culture, but God uses those things to redeem the good qualities of their culture, but being able to glorify God in that. And uh, it's awesome because the Bible says that the evidence of... You know, the evidence of, of God being real, the evidence that Jesus is real is by the way we love one another. And God's love is so awesome that it transcends the barriers of our language and barriers of our different cultures that may clash. But it, it, you know, we can still love one another and be able to connect with one another and show proof to a world that does not know of God that we're one body and that God's love is real. Uh, I think being a Christian in culture is making an impact and being a, a change agent where you can just transform the place where you're at and not have to worry about what methods or what things to do. As long as you have that connection with God, everything else is just natural and it flows out. And so, um, yeah, I think uh, being a Christian in culture is also being wise. You know, just being quicker to, to listen, you know, not uh, quicker to speak. And just knowing how to, like Peter says, be ready in and out of season to, to give a response.